Hello everyone, how's it going? So today we are looking into YOLO V5 custom object detection. Here we are trying to do mask detections and we are going to be using YOLO V5 and also another API called RoboFlow. I'll go over that in a little bit. So this is based on YOLO V5 of course and there are different types of implementations, different ways you can create a custom object detection. And this is one of the simplest that I have found and I thought it was very easy to implement and it will be very good to get started. Now it's not able to perform some of the complex mass detections that complex object detection, but that we will look into the next videos, next tutorials. But this is easy to get started and hope it helps you. So let me know what you guys feel in the comments below. So the first step is to open the link that is in the description and this is the collab file which will auto open up and I do want to give out the right credit for this video. So we, we have this uh, Medium article, this was by the gentleman Jacob Solowitz and he created this uh, nice tutorial for doing Yolo V5 custom object detection and uh, it was very simple to understand, very easy to implement. So that's the main source of uh, information for this particular project. Now the first step is to consider subscribing to the channel if it's something you you feel it's helpful. And of course we come up with different types of projects, different types of implementations, especially in the field of computer vision, AI, IoT, machine learning. And if it's something you're interested in, do consider subscribing and let us go ahead. So the first step is to clone the repository. But even before we clone the repository, go into runtime and type change runtime and make sure you are under GPU. So with this whole project takes about eight to 12 minutes mostly to run and it depends on the size of your data set. It's not good for this particular uh, tutorial. It's not going to take more than eight minutes. So it's, it's uh, very fast and very easy to implement, but make sure your runtime is on GPU. Now it will clone this repository and this repository is from the Ultralytics YOLO V5 repository for which the a gentleman by the name Glenn Josher, I believe he, he has it. His name is right down below. Yeah, Glenn Josher. So he has this YOLO V5 version and we are just using that. So we're cloning the repository. We are downloading and installing all the requirements that are needed for this repository. Also, we are implementing some of the importing some of the libraries that we need PyTorch because YOLO V5 is dependent on PyTorch and we are using iPath and display to display all the images on the collab and the G drive download just to download this thing. The clear output will just clean the screen for us. Nothing much, nothing much. Now the next step, and this is the most important step here, you have to go to this link and I have this link opened up here. So this is basically, we're using a RoboFlow API because the most important thing in your custom object detection is training the images, right? Uh, creating a new trained data set. And in that data set, you need to provide where the objects are located. So I'll, uh, it makes sense if we open up this data set. Now, the, when, the moment you open up this link, this link to data set, it will open up this page here. And this is the RoboFlow custom vis uh, computer vision data set. And it's a publicly freely available data set. You can always download it. May make sure you are uh, signed in with your own account. And once you have testing, you can see there are different types of, uh, different types of data sets available for us. Now you can see these are, there are these bounding rectangles and you have, even for the mask and this is the data set that we used for this project. And you can see there, is a, there are these bounding rectangles on the, on the images. And that is very important when you're doing custom object detection because initially you do need to provide the system and let the system know where these objects are actually located and how these objects look like. So that's very important. And for that purpose, we need these annotation files, these files that will give out information of where these objects are so that YOLO V5 can take that information and train itself. So you can see this, you know, this vehicle is highlighted. Now, all these objects are very, very easily available. So these are all, all basically uh, cloned and uh, it, it's uh, all these annotations are provided for us and so that we can use it for our repository. Now, in our case, as I mentioned, we use the mask varying data set. It has only 150 images and it's not a big data set, but it did the job very well uh, to, to, some, to, to some extent, I would say. 
to be honest. But uh, coming down here, if you open the repository and it will give you this option to download this repository and uh, click on this one. So when you click on this one, it will give you this option of downloading the different types of repositories you want. And make sure you have it under YOLO v5 pytorch because that's the repository that we are using for our purpose so we have we're going to be downloading this data set so once you create that then make sure we click here and then show download code and then continue when at the moment you uh, click continue it will give you three options and the first option is the jupyter notebook option copy that whole code the whole code and then I'm not going to open that here because the guys in Ro RoboFlow has I mentioned that that particular link has to be kept secret and, and it's linked to your own account so they don't want that to be shared so I'm sorry about that just but make sure you just go in and create a free account with RoboFlow open this thing and come to this step and just press continue it'll give you that two lines of two or three lines of code just make sure you copy that and come back here and this whole thing you'll, you'll basically find this whole thing you know from the roboflow and you just you can copy paste it and replace this here i i however uh, masked the link that i was I had, that i had used for this purpose but you can always change that and make sure you're using the, the one from your account so once you have done that it will download all the files all the data set images and it will create these folders here this test folder, train folder, validation folder, and even this RoboFlow text and data via ML files. So th this is the model configuration file, and these are all the test, train, and validation test of images. So if, if I open this, you'll see it has a set of all the images so that are used for the mask purpose. And that's all this, uh, this RoboFlow does for us, and it also provides the data set images where, where these masks, basically that annotation box where the images are present. Okay, so that's all the boring stuff. Now come down here. The next step, the third step is to create that custom model configuration file. So Yolo v5 has its own configuration file, which the original author had presented. We're just changing that so that we can do our own custom object detection. So we're just changing that configuration file for our purpose, nothing much. So this is the uh, data.yml file, which is right here. And if you open this, it has it is giving us the two class labels, and one is the mask, and one is no mask. So different data sets have their own different uh, different types of annotation. So it will automatically detect what the labels are. And in our case, it's mask or no mask. That's about it. And coming down here, next step is to change our original YAML file. So the original data.yaml file, which is here in the YOLO v5 version, if you open up YOLO v5, and if you go under the model section right here, there is this different types of YAML files, and these are the different types of YOLO versions, and we are using the YOLO v5 5s version. So there are different types of configuration. It depends on the number of uh, cycles that it's changing. It also depends on the time it's going to take to implement it. So we are using the smaller version, which is the 5s version, and this is the original original configuration which is available, by, which comes pre-trained, which is already configured for the YOLO v5. And we are just going to change that and make our own template, make our own custom YOLO v5 5s model, which is go, which will be created right here, like over here. And the, this is the configuration that we are using. So it's uh, it's nothing not it's not not too much of a difference, just a little bit different, and it's nothing too nothing too complicated. But uh, in our case, we can just simply copy paste and it's uh, working out fine. So you don't need to worry about what these are. These are basically the configuration files. These are, this is the network that is being used for YOLO v5 and uh, it's telling the system what kind of a configuration it is. So not, not too much to get into for now as if you use this as it is, it'll help you go into and run the YOLO v5. So this is the custom v5 uh, YAML file that we will be using. Now. Coming down to the fourth step, and this is the uh, this is the step where we we were all waiting for. So until until now, we were just preparing the data sets, changing our configuration file, and keeping things ready for this step. And this this, this is the step where it will do the 
custom training for us. So we are changing the directory, we're changing the directory and moving it on to the YOLO v5. And now we are trying to train this thing. So here you can see that it's training and it's using the original data YAML file and it's also using the custom configuration file and the weights file folder is nothing over here because we, it will create our weights file for us. So once you run this command, just run this whole function, it'll take about eight to 10 minutes, depending on the size of your data set. And once it's done, once everything is done, it will uh, you'll come down to the last portion of this. And you can see this, this information is what we are looking for. Initially, you can see that it took me about five minutes for this particular, for my own code to run. And in my case, it took me five minutes and we are interested in these two core in this code. So it's either this or this one. So this is just giving out the information where the weights file are stored. So if you go under runs, expo YOLO v5 results, weights and best.pt, this is your weights file and that is what you are interested in. So where do you find, find that? And if you wanna go under this section right here, where it says runs, click on runs and you can see the expo YOLO v55s results and in every and depends on what kind of a data set you're using and it, there will be different versions of it if it's a big data set it'll keep downloading the weights file at every interval so in our case it had only one but for different data sets you'll find it will create other more main folders so make sure what whatever data set you are using and it creates that same thing so you have, you have the YOLO v5 uh, open the weights folder and there are two weights file and you can use the best one and that's the best uh, data set we just uh, we, we just copy going to copy this location from here and uh, this particular whole sentence runs this whole location of the bits of the weights file and come down to the next step this next step where it says weights we are going to replace that with our own weights the one from the previous section so re replace these uh, whatever is is available here just make sure you're using the last the best of the weights file so we have we have this thing we have under the python detect and you're, tell, you're telling the detect.py file that the weights folder the weights information is going to be taken from this particular file and this is the location of the file and you're also sh uh, giving out the information of where the test images are the test images are right here this test image is this folder and if you go under the test and you have and if you go under the images folder we're using we're just using those image folder that's about it once we are done with that we come to the next step where we are going to display the output so the output is displayed by using, uh, we are of course using the glob, we are using the IPython display to display all the images for us. And it takes the images from the output folder. So you have the YOLO v5 and you have this inference folder. So let me minimize this so it's not too confusing. Let me even minimize the runs folder and open up the inferences tab. And if you see the output right here, all the YOLO v5 output would be present in this case. And this output has all these images that are that are basically tested and it gives out the output for us here. So we are just displaying all the images by putting this star here. But it's the star means that it's opening all the images which are under the, which are of the .jpg file. And it displays all the images here in a new line. And you can see the output is right here in front of us. And you can see the, type of object detection it's doing. It's uh, right here, it's able to detect this person. It's not able to detect this one, not even not this one, but I don't know if this can even be considered as a face. So as, as long as uh, it's able to do that, and it's able to detect all the faces, but it, you can see that's missed in this one. So it depends on the, because uh, the data information that was provided, of course, and you can see this is also doing quite a bit of mass detection in, in a very crowded area. So the, the object detection is performing well to an extent. To, well, not to the most. So this one did uh, the mass detection right here. It missed on these two. But uh, it, it depends on what kind of a configuration that you are doing. Again, it's able to detect here, but not the blurry images. It detected this blurry image, but not this one. So it, again, it's because the data set that we are using, it's only 140, 150 images. 
So uh, 149 images. So it's not too big of a data set, so it doesn't have too much of information that YOLO V5 can grab. But fairly, the model is performing to, to an extent. And again, if uh, it also depends on the configuration. If you make a few changes, it will improve on it. But uh, again, uh, if you have a bigger data set, you have a better response. And that, with that, we come to the conclusion of this video. So it was a very simple implementation. Maybe this video has become taken a too long, but uh, if you try to run it on your own, it shouldn't take you more than five to 10 minutes. So with that, I leave you with this code. It'll be in the description. Go ahead and run this and let me know how you guys felt. How, what is it? What is it? And let me know what kind of projects that you are interested in. What is it that you want to do? And uh, what, what are the next projects that you want me to work on? So if I have that feedback, it helps me you know, design my own uh, timeline and more my own playlist for all these projects. So let me know what, what you guys feel what, and what is it that you're interested in in the comments below. And if, if this channel is helping, if the content that is coming out is helping, do consider subscribing. With that, you guys take care. Stay safe. Bye-bye.